Hey everyone. Um, I just want to share a testimony and something that I've been meditating on. I was meditating on it this morning and, um, and it's something worth sharing because, um, here on the internet, um, you know, it, it's a problem and, um, something that I learned and I don't have scriptures to back this up, but, um, the reason why I'm sharing this is to pull people out of the fire, to pull people out of condemnation, um, that they, that they might receive, you know, that we can, uh, come out blameless on the judgment bar, you know? Um, and it's about, um, having guile in our mouths or throwing condemnation on others. And, um, the Bible says there's no condemnation in Christ. Everybody quotes that. But they don't, that's one of the most misquoted scriptures, one of the most misquoted scriptures, or misused scriptures, I think, generally speaking. Um, um, there's no condemnation in Christ for those walking in the Spirit. That's the whole verse. Um, when we're doing things in the flesh, yes, we, we condemn each other out of love. When we're doing things in the flesh, we condemn each other. Yeah, in the same respect, we're supposed to judge not lest we be judged. So there's a fine line. We don't know where people came from. Um, and that whole spiel. So, um, and you know, as the book of Jude said, some people you you rebuke in love and compassion and, and empathy and sympathy and others you, you rebuke sternly and pulling them out of the fire. Um, and, um, you know, the Bible also says that um, who is first fruits? The hundred and forty those eligible for the hundred and forty four thousand, the barley harvest, the hundred first fruits. Um, one of the requirements are that they they didn't have guile in their mouths. They're not condemning each other. Um, um, even the Psalms say, I thank you, Yahuwah, for for keeping me from those who um who insult each other or, or condemn each other. And and we're we're all on our sin nature. We all do it. But we really have to watch our tongues, you know. And I was meditating on this this morning because I was meditating on my testimony this morning. And and those of you who are familiar with my testimony, and it's amazing how Yah, you know, me personally, in my testimony, I was condemned, I was kindly yet dreadfully condemned for my sins that I did in the flesh. Though I was in ignorance and all that kind of stuff when, when the Lord um, threw a monkey wrench in on my life that night. In the same time, I, I've heard the Lord in all his rage that the Bible possesses, in all his furious rebukes, in all his rage, he was still good and loving even to the worst of the wicked. And... Um, I heard him rebuke, and though the Lord is multifaceted and multidimensional and past, present, and future all in one swoop, but one of those faucets, I, I heard him rebuke the CIA, and it was in nothing but humility, loving kindness, because we are nothing but ants. We are nothing. We are nothing to him. The CIA is nothing to uh, the Almighty. Nothing. And even in all his rage, all his com compassion, you know, all his rage, it was his goodness. Because he doesn't like to see even the worst of the ungodly perish. And I was meditating on on all that and how, it, you know, it just hit me. That's why I'm making this video. It hit me because um, cause I was just realizing how he went exactly as his word says it is. And, and that's, and I was meditating on this morning when I woke up this morning, how I, you know, it's so hard. None of us could exceed the righteousness of the Almighty, but we are called to walk like that. You know, it even says Yeshua had no guile in his mouth when I think it was Philip or Nathaniel or whomever first saw him under the fig tree. Here's one who has no guile in his mouth. And um, even, you know, rebuking the CIA for their unknowingly, you know, brainwashed into satanic persecution 
um, it was still kind and humble. He did not, he did not um, condemn them in his in his judgment. Hard, to, you know, hard to conceive. And it, it's an example that we should follow that not to have guile in our mouths. Um, judge not, lest we be judged. We don't know where people came from. Yet, in the same time, um, that it's not an excuse for sin. Um, you know, there's no condemnation in Christ for those who walk in the Spirit. But we don't condemn out of our sin nature. We condemn to pull people out of the fire. Um, out of love. And um, I just wanted to share that because it's really something we should all watch. I'm, I'm ministering to myself here. But, um, you know, because the Bible says uh, we're judged by our own ways. He judges us by our own ways, to, by our own understanding. Um, that's the measure he judges us. From what measure we put out, uh, we are given. And um, so, I don't know. I just wanted to share that. And um, you know, even in all his furious rage, he was still good. And um, even to the, the biggest, most corrupt, most satanic, um, you know, entity that controls this earth. He was still compassionate and, and humble because it is nothing to him. And, um, and it's just an example that we should follow. So I just wanted to share that, guys. Um, you know, God chooses the foolish things to confound the wise, the weak things to shame the strong, so that no flesh can boast before him. A lot of us see the ways, um, it, it is so typical that when we see the way Yah moves, that it is offensive in our natural paradigm, because it is an upside down reality. He chooses the foolish things to confound the wise. Okay, so we really have to stop thinking in the natural, um, stop, you know, we have to really try to focus on the bigger picture. Um, from what I've learned, he lets all these monstrosities happen that, that seem to be monstrosities and seem to be injustices happen in this paradigm. So it becomes just a greater blessing in the future. So it could be redeemed that can, and, you know, it's the foolish things that confound the wise. You know, nobody could search or understand the king of wisdom. Nobody. He's wiser than all of his works. And, um, so it's just something to pay heed to, guys. I just wanted to share that. Um, okay. Y'all bless you all. Thank you for tuning in.